Hello. Just uh, taking a short walk out here. And, uh, there's the uh, Norway maple. Snow goose cherry. And then the uh, large yellowing maple. And it's just kind of standing under here. Not so long ago. Feeling the uh, leaves move. In fact, there's a, a branch that had just fallen. See, Taki's uh, hanging out at the barn. How you doing, buddy? And uh, so we are back under the maple. And I was just doing a little meditation here, trying to become aware of the uh, the roots below and the branches above. It seems like I can feel the distinction between the moving leaves and the relatively unmoving root system. I'm just trying to feel that variation. Hey, we got a little buddy here to help us with our meditation. How are you doing? Well, thank you for that. Hello. Yeah. I invite you to listen here. Is that a good spot to sit and have a little meditation? Okay. Yeah, we can do it right there. That's a very good idea. They're sitting here beside Zaki now. Oh, you're going to climb aboard? All right. Yeah, that's okay. And so the meditation was just to be listening to the leaves. It's going to be kind of two parts. You know, to listen to the leaves uh, overhead, but also listen to the leaves underfoot. And so it's going to take a little walk really tune into our listening of them. to the underpaw leaf. So he's had a seat now, so I'll try and be quiet and maybe as group or as a pair or whatever the term is. We'll give a little listen to what's above. much of the sound that I hear that I ascribe to the wind while I listen to the leaves is really the wind through many, many leaves and other trees, perhaps at some distance. Hey buddy, how are you doing? You okay? You 
know, a leaf is often the furthest reach of a tree. Furthest the tree has reached from the earth, the deepest into the sky the tree has managed to reach is often a leaf. And so the leaf represents, of course, you know, collection. Saki's interested in this leaf now, so I'll give him a chance to see. You, yeah, you got pretty interested in that one, huh? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see what you're interested in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did it. Good for you. Thank you. I think we were over here somewhere. Ish. Got another stick I might be able to use to balance the camera, tripod like on. Don't know. That looks like it's possible. You okay, Mr. Gorita? So, a leaf. You know, it's collecting, it's receiving, it's yin. And we could say that its entire purpose is to collect the sun, it's to collect the yang energy. And its reach is the deepest into the sky, the furthest into the yang element. So we have this thing that we could think of as entirely yin. Right? It, it moves in the breeze, doesn't like a you know like a branch or a stick, you know, resist the breeze uh, with the same tension as a leaf. Uh, the branch will tend to stay. And of course uh, in the autumn the leaf will fall, which is also very yin. And at this time of year, when the chlorophyll is drained out, it has less even of that pressure within it. It's less full. And it's changing its color. Which again is yin. So we have this you know, very, very yin representation, this talisman of yin, this marker of the yin state. But it reaches so, so, so very close to the yang aspect. And so I'm listening to the leaves, you know, with the ear to hear the the moving, the rustling, to, to recognize the effect of the wind. But I'm also listening to what else I might learn from the leaf, such as I'm suggesting now with this yin yang description. <clears throat> I did learn that this is uh, nominally uh, called the sugar maple. And uh, I'm sure that that's still a se semi-generic term. There's different types, but uh, a mnemonic that I was told was that uh, there are five lobes on the leaf, S-U-G-A-R, uh, sugar maple. And that a red maple would have three, R-E-D. I'm listening to the leaves. I 
and then we'll I think we'll take a short walk and we'll listen to the leaves underfoot as well. Saki, you want to take a little walk in the leaves? One, I know I'm turning the camera, so. Come on. Come on, we'll take a walk in the leaves. Come on. Come on. Come on, we want to hear how they sound. You want to say hi to this tree and stretch out? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Come on, let's make a little walk here and see how they sound. There's some banana leaves. As well. Let's see. relatively ragged banana leaves as they have suffered a bit of frost here. Thank you, Saki. So I think we'll end it there. And let's bow to the trees. Thank you.